Kitchen Man 3 here, and I'm doing this late in the unboxing because I just realized that um, the UPS and or FedEx guy uh, left this package inside my screen door, and yeah, I didn't really realize it until um, my mom actually opened the door and then found it there. So uh, this is an unboxing, if you can't see already, from greatidea.com, and I want to thank him for signing this out to me for a review. And this is, I, I feel pretty special and privileged to unbox this because this thing is not released yet. This is not available for retail as far as I'm concerned, as far as they told me. So you can probably tell from the title's video what it is, but uh, I'll get to it anyway. So inside the packaging, they sent me two things. Um, should we get rid of this for a second? A small letter saying, Dear Kevin, Robert Gray asked that I send you our amazing new product, the Little Great Fan. In Joy Best Stacy, and I can't read that last name, so I'm not going to try to mess it up. But I want to thank them for sending this out to me for review and for this video and unboxing. So you guys can see here, sorry that my camera's not adjusting, greatidea.com create promotional products. And this company is uh, the manufacturer for the great little speaker or something like that. It was a speaker that you connected to the 30 pin dock connector of your iPod and it gave the speaker for like first gen iPod touches that didn't have a speaker or other iPods. So I kind of already unboxed this so I can know what to expect. So I'm just going to open this tape here and open this tissue paper and you're going to find a small packaging. Uh, now there's also a small little, not paper football, but it's a little cool thing. It's Bob Greg, Greg, this is basically their business card. It says let's kick some ideas around. So, you know, it's supposed to be like a paper football. So that's pretty cool. So I want to thank them for sending that little thing out to me. And now onto the main attraction of this video. Um, after you slip this thing out of the plastic, it's a little black case. First cool thing is that it looks like an iPhone. See that? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And when you open this up, here's the product. Okay, It's the great little fan. And if you guys can't already tell what this is, this is a a fan that you connect to your 30 pin dock connector of your iPod and it is a fan and this is pretty good I'm pretty sure for pretty much all of us that exercise and use our iPods to exercise and so it's a pretty cool add-on I guess but first let's look at the documentation it's pretty simple the great little fan attached to the device turn it on adjust the angle twist it towards you blah 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 works with pretty much any eye device that has a 30 pin dock connector which of course excludes some of the iPod shuffles and yeah. But as you can read here, it says no battery required, plug in, cool down, and all that fun stuff at the bottom. So uh, let's do a quick demo here. I'm gonna pull this out of the case, and as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's built made of this kind of kind of not really plasticky, it feels a little bit like not rubberish, I don't know how to explain it really, but cool material. Anyway, so I have my first generation iPod Touch here. Just connect to the 30 pin dock connector and you turn it on. Hold on a second. So yeah, you turn it on and you can as you can see it's pretty powerful. It does give a decent amount of um, air push towards you. Now of course the downside is if um, you are using your iPod Touch as you can see here. The problem is that it does block the headphone jack, so uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's exactly a plus. But you can also twist this so that it's angled more so towards you. And um, okay, I suppose one glitch that I have found is that you kind of have to have your iPod screen turned on or something for it to work. But it does work, and it does give a pretty good amount of like push. See that? So yeah. Um, from what I've heard, and from what Bob has told me, that this particular device it doesn't use that much of your iPod's battery power in fact he says uh, if you run this for two hours straight it should only degrade or drop your battery from uh, I think it's either 25% or drop it 50% and I don't mean drop it to 25% like it uses 75 it only uses 25 or 50% of your battery life uh, for two hours which I'm not quite sure which one it is but he says it's pretty good it doesn't drain that much battery for the amount of you know air pushing that it gives so this is just a quick unboxing for the great little fan again I want to thank uh, thank Bob Gray and his crew out there for sending this little product out for me before it's available for retail 
I'll be sure to get this review out within, I don't know, either two, three weeks, depending on how busy I am, because I am pretty busy for the next few weeks, as far as I know. So yeah, this is just a quick unboxing and short demo for the great little fan. And so remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, and expect a review pretty soon. See you guys later.